Alright everyone, this is Fahad here from RoboTube and in this video, we are going to look at how you can build your own battle bot or your own combat robot without any prior technical knowledge about motors, tires or anything like that. But before I start, let me give you a small disclaimer. Uh, English is not my first language, so you might feel uh, I was checking a few words or I might be delivering few sentences wrong. But I hope we can work with that. So with that the intro done, let's start our tutorials with how you can build your own better word robot. To start with, the first thing we are going to look at is uh, a robot on my screen that is Tombstone, a very famous uh, better bot robot. And after that, I have one of my favorite robot here that is Hypershock. The only reason you are here watching this video is that you are planning or you have a plan to build your own combat robot. But before you start, you have to understand that these robots you see on your TV is the result of a co complete team. You can see there are literally 7 to 8 or maybe it's sometimes more than 10 people building on the same robot and these robots cost more than 10,000 of even sometimes up to 50,000 US dollars. So these robots you see on your TV screen are really expensive and they require a lot of technical stuff, a lot of technical knowledge before you start building them. But you can start, but to start with, you can start building a smaller scale robot. That is why I was telling you about that, about the team, about the size of robot and the costs. If you are building something on a smaller scale, that doesn't mean that is just for a demo. You can a smaller you can build a small robot up to 3 pounds or 12 pounds and you can still compete with that robot in different competitions. So there are different types of categories, different types of weight classes of combat robots. As you can see on my screen, the one we see on our TV show BattleBot, like someone something like a Cobalt, they are heavyweight robots. They are 250 pounds robot. They are expensive and they are difficult to build. But you can work with something like a featherweight, even a dodge weight, hobby weight, or some uh, something like a beetle weight. I will recommend to you, you to start as your first robot, a, a beetle weight robot. Why beetle weight? Because if you work with something like iron weight or something smaller that still requires some technical knowledge to build something that compact that is small but beetle weight robots are the easiest form of robot to build they are three pounds in weight and we are going to look at how you can build your first beetle weight robot as a battle board builder or as a combat robot builder so let's start with our uh, first screen one more thing i want to cover in this video is that if you just want to build a robot to play at your home you just you are just building your robot to as a uh, toy so you don't have to build a robot you can always purchase pre-made kits as well these are one uh, the left one on my screen are called hexbox robots you can order them on amazon or any other uh, maybe e-commerce website in your country and you can get the arena to play with like a battlebot arena and they are official uh, robots provided by battlebot like something like mars and you can buy these robots online pre-made robots but what if you want to build a robot for a competition or you just want to build a robot then you can build something like this on my right on my screen i have downloaded this image from a website i'm going to give the credit in the description of that website it is a uh, uh, this image is going to have a lot uh, during our this video. So if you look at the screen on my right, you can see a lot of technical stuff here, like a lot of wires, some circuits, colorful wires. These are motors and we have a weapon, a bed. But don't get confused. I am going to explain each and everything in the easiest possible way. This was just a general overview. In the next slide, what I'm going to tell you, the first mistake uh, usually people do while trying to build a combat robot. When you start a combat robot, the first thing that comes into mind, okay, I have the idea, I want to go, I'm going to build something like that. And then you try to build the body of the robot, the main structure of the robot. That is the wrong way. You should not start with the structure of the robot. Structures comes at the last part of your robot building journey. The first thing that you need to uh, purchase or you need to get are the internals of the robot, like motors, like batteries, like wheels, and then you will build the structure. That was the most important part of this video. You should start with the internals of the robot. If you will try to start with the just the body of the robot, you will get stuck because you don't worship with the size of the body where you are going to fit the motors, 
but we, if you have motors in your hand you have wheels you have electronics you have battery now you you have exactly the idea how much space you need to fit your motors to batteries and some other stuff like that so to start with you are not going to build something like this you are not going to open the software and just build the robot and then you will start the internals no it's not the right way the actual flow the actual flow is right here this uh, slide will give you the whole roadmap how you should start building your combat robot the first thing that you need to get are your motors what are the motors these are called motors on the bottom of my screen these are called motors and using motors we actually move our robot if you see on your uh, battleboard robot you see this motor moves using wheels obviously there are four wheels in the hyper shock and two wheels in tool stone these wheels are attached directly on the shaft of the motor or some sometimes uh, coupled with the chain to the motor shaft and these motors actually moves your robot so the first thing that you need to get the most important part of your robot are motors you can get dc geared motors uh, brush motors or brushless motors we are going to talk about motors later but to start with the first thing that you need to get is motors after motors you get wheels appropriate wheels for your motors to couple with on the shaft of the motor and now you have the complete set of your motors and your wheels you have your motors and wheels then you will have your batteries and other electronics so in other electronics you have your electronic speed controllers that controls the motor a transmitter and receiver to transmit the message from your end to your robot some small stuff that are not essential in the starting like power switch or something like that and then you have a battery so then uh, we have electronics and after electronics we will work on robot body and now we're going to talk about each and every part uh, bit by bit uh, in the coming slides now before i start i am going to give you another link in my description about these awesome tutorials on wish doctor channels if you want to build a robot these are really detailed videos about how you can build your electronics you can how you can assemble your robot what are batteries what are different types of batteries what are drive system and how you can build your own robot so you can watch these tutorials i i'm going to give you a uh, link in the description on the wish doctor official channel and they are really awesome okay, if you want to start with then uh, the, this is again the screenshot from that tutorial these tutorials will give you detailed insight about the connection of your motors how you can run it using your transmitter everything like that now i'm going to talk about motors to start with i will recommend to go with simple dc geared motor you can work with uh, brushless motors but they are little tricky to use and they are little expensive as well so to start with you can always get uh, motors like these online from any store or you can go to near nearest hardware shops and maybe you get some of these you need at least two same motors to build a robot or four so same motors to build a four wheel robot now you have these uh, motors then you need wheels so you can easily get these wheels for your like remote control truck or remote control toys you can get wheels from them you can attach those wheels on the shaft of your motor and then you will have your wheels and motor spare ready so when we are done with our motors and wheel spare then we can move on to our electronics now this right here is a very easy diagram about our electronics this is the easiest way possible way to explain the electronics of a combat robot now to start with you have your motors you are going to attach your motors with your drive escs escs means electronic speed controllers you can search more on internet now after attaching your escs your escs will receive your message from the receiver a receiver is a small device that receives radio message from your transmitter transmitter is something that is in your hand a receiver will be attached in your robot receiver will receive the message and uh, and send that message to your drive esc and drive esc will run your motor that's the whole flow and also to provide the power you need a battery then if you want to attach your weapon as well so you need a weapon esc similarly and your weapon motor and usually we have a three phase motor for weapon we are not going to talk about weapon in the first parts in the second part i will be explaining you a weapon and its mechanism as well so then again i have this screenshot from that uh, with doctor tutorial this is this is how it actually looks this is the neat and clean uh, block diagram but this is what it actually looks like in real so we have two motors 
these motors are coming here and attached with these are called esc these are very small escs and then these escs are going to uh, receive the message from this part this is called receiver this is the receiver radio receiver this receiver is sending message to the esc and that esc is providing power to motor obviously the esc is connected with the battery so this right here is our battery and this battery is going to be connected with our esc as well this is the complete circuit and this is exactly what you are you you will be using in your small combat robot so this is the actual diagram hopefully it is you got the idea about what's inside a combat robot and how it actually works and when you get the components you will get the exact model number of the component you search on youtube you can get the a wiring diagram of your components as well then after you have your tires your uh, motors you have your escs electronics let's talk about the batteries a little as well so these are called lipo batteries lithium polymer batteries and we usually use these batteries a combat robot because they are smaller in size they are lighter in the weight and they can provide a lot of current on demand so if you use any other types of battery you can use a lithium cell your laptop cell batteries but these those batteries are a little tricky to make and they uh, are usually more weight than these lipo batteries so it is recommended to get these lipo batteries and the meh milliampere hour means how much ampere this battery can provide for one hour so you should be able to get a battery that can provide power to your robot for up to five to six minutes that will be the safe power so you will calculate that power according to your current consumption of your motor and then you can get the bed now moving on we have our motors we have our electronics we have uh, our wiring diagram then you will work on your actual robot body that was the main part or the main purpose of this video first you get your internal sort out then you have exactly the measurement of your tires you have motors and other stuffs then you will work on your body you can design your body as solid works on fusion and if you don't know how to work on these surfaces then you can design them manually you can cut some sheets uh, for lightweight or smaller weight robots you can cut plastic or acrylic body and you can attach those parts together to build your robot body and that's it your robot is ready now till now we are not talking about weapon because weapon complicates things a little bit and my purpose was to give you a simplest way a simplest tutorial about how to build a combat robot now if you want to attach a weapon something that we built uh, till now is a simple defending robot a defending robot that rams into the opponent uh, ram your opponent into the wall and survives the fight and if your opponent cannot survive the fight you win but what if you want to attach a weapon now to attach a weapon what if you want to attach a weapon like this then you need to work on a hardware related you need a weapon bar obviously a bar or weapon drum then you need a shaft to mount your weapon you need to have a weapon mount on your robot then you need a motor so usually for weapons we use brushless motor in my uh, in my image like this here as you can see we have this motor here this is a different type of motor these are usually drawn motors in the lightweight robo wars to small robo wars we have a drawn motor and these drone motors are very high in rpm because a drone needs to fly so these are something like 10000 15000 20000 rpm at full voltage so you get these motors you attach a belt to this motor you couple these motors with the weapon bar and your weapon will run obviously on, on thousands of rpm at a speed so this this is what actually a uh, brushless motor looks like so you need to get a brushless motor and obviously it electronic speed controller esc again like in this uh, wiring diagram and that is motor will run the your weapons and i have a image of weapon bars as well this is what different types of weapon bars that you can use to cut these weapon bars usually you need a cnc machine a milling machine to cut these weapon bars you cannot build these weapon out of plastic like you are a smaller robot body you need to build them with something like steel uh, stainless steel titanium or a good grade aluminum then you have your weapon bar your weapon motor you need to connect these together with the belt and you are good to go with the weapon but attaching a weapon is a little bit tricky so you should be able to build a defensive robot first then you can attach a weapon 
in your robot. After you build your first robot like this, you should try to get into any local competition, smaller competition where you can fight with your robots and uh, then you will be able to find out what are the weak points of your robot, what have you done, if you have done something wrong, improve your robot and on the next stage you can build a bigger robot. In your bigger robots, I have a few images here as well, it's almost the same, you have motors, you have wheels, you have ESCs, you have batteries, you have weapon motor, you have weapon bar, everything like that but everything is scaled up so everything will be a little bit expensive you need bigger tools to work on that and rest of that will be the same so we have this end game here end game robot and you can see the scale of that robot how thick your armor should be how big your V is how big your motors can be and how big your weapon is actually is for a 250 pound robot so when you will work on smaller scale robots then you will get the exact idea how is uh, the larger scale robot can be built and then you can move on to large scale robot. But now I am not the expert but I hope this tutorial helped you uh, and give you the idea of how to actually build a combat robot and if you are a complete beginner now you have a roadmap how you can work on your uh, combat robot step by step. This is Fahad from RoboTube. For more similar videos you can subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.